Hey everybody. So today we're going to be talking about what do you need to take if you're going to take your dragon out into the world with you, whether you're going to the store, wherever you're going to go. Well, I'm going to start by showing you what I take when I take them out. Today I'm taking Finian with me because he's still doing some weird stuff and I don't want him home alone and I have to go to an appointment. And then I'm going to be going to a store that allows him in there. So that's a good thing. So I know he can go with me. Okay, so first of all, we're going to talk about the carrier. All right, so this is Finn's carrier. I like this particular model because it is top opening. So the entire top opens. So if you have to take them to the vet or you need to get to them in a hurry, you can. Plenty of ventilation holes, it's hard plastic. Nothing's getting through or out of the sucker. Okay, now, first thing I want you to notice is on the top, I, I've always, I label all of the dragons carriers. And as you can see, it says harmless reptile on both sides and his name, Finian, on both sides. Why do I do this? Well, because if I get into a car accident, God forbid, or I get separated from him, or he goes bouncing away from me for whatever reason and someone else finds him, I want them to know that he's not going to hurt them so that they will help him if he needs it, okay? So just uh, as a matter of course, label your carriers so everybody knows they don't need to be afraid of whatever's in here, okay? Okay, um, this is actually, I got this at Amazon. It's called Cabin Kennel by Das Goetzel, D-O-S-K-O-C-I-L, Strong Case for Quality. Um, I haven't seen it available though, so I don't know if they've stopped making it or what's happening. But anyway, so we open the carrier. First thing that I have in here is these microfiber towels that you get from the Dollar Tree or the 99 cent store that you use to wash your car are perfect for your dragon blankets, okay? Um, underneath that, I have a towel just for added comfort for him and in case I need it for whatever reason. Underneath that, I have his coat. Yes, he did, I did. I spent the money at one time, this is years ago, for Pampered Beardies on Etsy and got him a little dinosaur coat with a hood. He has an actual coat. Yeah, so his coat is in here. Um, <laughs> his cowboy hat's in here because it happened to be one Halloween. I had to take it off of him and forgot it was here. Okay. Lysol disinfecting wipes. Why? In case he poops. Finny and I don't really have that problem with because he's very well potty trained, but sometimes with Merlin or Ruby, well, you know, we need those. Okay. Also, a second towel on the bottom. Okay. Um, extra water bottle. Okay, on this side, how do we put all this back? Plastic bag in case I have to change, and an extra um, change of dragon blankets, AKA um, microfiber towels. Because you know, if he does have an accident or something happens, or if he were, if he were ill and he had some kind of discharge or something, you know, if I needed to change these out, I can. Now, you notice that for his carrier, I buy the kind that has one big, sh one big blanket, little fiber towel, and one small one. Why? Well, because the other thing I purchase while I'm at the Dollar Tree are these heat wraps that are for neck and shoulder. Now, um, at the 99 cent stores where I get these, they are 99 cents. They say they give eight hours of heat. No, they probably give about four hours, but that's usually plenty of time uh, when I'm gonna be out with him. If I'm gonna be out longer for some reason, then I do carry an extra one with me. But I like these, they do get nice and warm, and they don't have any medicine in them. You wanna make sure that you get the ones that say they're odorless and that they're air activated because that means they don't have any medicine in them. You don't want to put ever, ever, ever any kind of a heat wrap that has any kind of medicine in it because it could really hurt your dragon and make them really, really sick. Okay, so what do we do? Well, 
when you take it out of the box, it looks like this, okay? And they're sealed up because they do, in fact, react to the air. So what you do is you find this little side that has a notch. There's a little, you might not be able to see it too closely here, um, but there's a little notch on that side. So you just reach over, pardon my hands, hard to film and do this. Okay, so you open them up, you take it out, you unfold it. Yes, ladies, I know it looks a little like a sanitary pad. It's not, but that does look like it. Okay, so you open it up and you'll see that it has two little tabs where it says open. Okay, so you're gonna peel that off on both sides. All right, now it says this side toward body. Now that's on the same side where you'll notice it's sticky where you just took the tabs off. Okay, what you wanna do is take your little piece of blanket or the, the edge of the other blanket if you have a full length one, put it on there on the sticky part Okay, now it's nice and stuck here. Now, the part that says put it on your body is underneath here, okay? So that when it gets warm, which will be in just a few minutes, it'll be warm on the blanket. So, what does this do? Well, this maintains a warm side and a cool side while your dragon has to be in their carrier, okay? And I do recommend that you have a carrier for them that's adequate size now, which is usually rabbit or cat sized, okay? Now, I harness my dragons always, and I normally have them out and on me, usually on my, on my chest or on my shoulder, okay? So he doesn't spend a whole lot of time in here but the reality is, is, you know, if he needs to, if I'm going to have to go in someplace that won't allow him for a couple minutes, or if it's a little more coolish outside, like if it's under 65 degrees or something, I know that he's protected in here. He's got a cool side. He's got a warm side. If I'm going to be out more than a couple hours, I bring some extra veggies for him and I tuck him in the corner over here so that um, he is comfortable at all times. Now, uh, usually when I take him out, like I said, he's on me because, and right now, where is he? He's over here bobbing at the mirror because he slept, he did his brumation over the summer, and this dragon believes it's mating season and he's just been ridiculous. But anyway, so while he's on me, he's getting natural sunlight for a good portion of the day, which, you know, he has plenty of UVB, that's not the issue. Oh, see him bobbing at the mirror? I know, that beardy in the mirror just frustrates him to no end. Okay, so while he's out and about getting all that natural sunlight, he's in good shape. I have extra water for him. I bring extra food. I bring extra towels. I put him in there. Uh, put him in his harness. I put him in his carrier, and we are good to go. Um, Finian will be seven years old in March, and he and I have been through many a day where we've been out for quite a bit of the day together. Um, if you can maintain their temperature... And you can get them some UVB while they're out and you bring their food. You can have your beardy out of their enclosure for a long time. Um, you do want to make sure they get back there, you know, eventually so that they can do their thing and be safe in their house and, you know, whatever. Um, if you have a dragon who just doesn't tolerate being outside for long periods of time or really doesn't like to be around people or is, you know, just not that sociable. Okay, you don't want to take them out. That's fine, too. But if you have, um, like Ruby, she's still in rehab. You know, she's still learning that people are can be good to her because all she's known is the other kind. So when I take her out, it's short trips. And I mean like an hour or less because she is still trying to figure out that, you know, she's not going to suddenly be without food or be neglected. So um, I would never put her through that because while I'm trying to desensitize her, I don't want to overwhelm her. Okay, because I don't want to create a behavior problem where there isn't one, 
Okay, but Finn is a people a people dragon. He loves to people watch. He loves it. He loves to wait till people say, is he real? And as soon as he hears the word real, he looks them right in the eye and it's hilarious. Most of them jump, but anyway. Um, so he can be out a little bit longer. So again, go to the 99 cent store. I usually buy these heat wraps five or 10 at a time because I have three dragons. So, and I put one in each of their carriers. While you're there, pick up some microfiber towels for your dragon to put in their carrier. Uh, maybe get them, oh, Finn just went down the steps. Maybe get them, you know, um, some greens to put in a little Tupperware container and put in here. Get them a water source. If your dragon does not drink out of a water bottle, a dropper bottle, I really recommend that you try to teach them that. Um, all of my dragons will do that. I started Merlin when he was little. Um, but, you know... To be fair, um, you know, I had him from infancy on. Finny and I taught when I got him because I wanted to make sure that if I went anywhere with him that I could get him a water source if he needed to have something to drink. So that is what's going on. And don't forget, guys, label their carrier, okay? Hope everybody has a good day, and we'll see you in the next video. Thanks. Bye.